Blog Talk Radio. This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a broadcast that brings you word and encouragement for your soul. We want you to remember that you don't have no worries. All you need is faith in God. Bustin' Loose in Faith airs Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, without further ado, let's get into this broadcast. And may God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Huh? Come in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him this day and this night and forevermore. Our precious fathers, we're from the of grace. Come to you, humble ourselves under the only the mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as we get out of the way that you may have your way here today. In hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let me let let us uh, de- decrease in the spirit, Lord, and it's with increase. Have your way, Lord, within this within this house here today. In the name of Jesus, through the use of the internet, we are able to preach and teach on a local level, be able to reach on a global level. Thank you for preparing the people's heart to see that word in spirit and in truth. We bind up all technical difficulties, anything that try to hinder the word of God from going forth. We take authority over the prince of the air. In the name of Jesus, uh, and Lord, we, do, we, we we think that the word of God will go forward with clarity. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we claim it, we decree it, and we agree that it is done in the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering prayer and on a request for most of all the salvation to go forth, that the kingdom of God may, may, may grow here this night and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. If you have your Bible, I'd like you to open up to the book, to the book of Hebrew. Chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. The book of Hebrew, chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. And the word reads, but, be, but beloved, we are confident of better things for you and things that accompany salvation. Though we thus speak, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which he has shown, shown towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. This is the next thing that I want to talk about. God has not forgotten your labor of love. Brothers and sisters in Christ, when we talk about labor of love, it refers to productive work performed voluntarily, without material reward or compensation. I'm going to say that again. Brothers and sisters in Christ, when we talk about labor of love in God's kingdom, it refers to productive work performed voluntarily without material reward or compensation. Yes, in 2020, oh, God is still expect us to do what he has called us to do. And the, and the unique assignment that he has tailor made for you, he expects you as his child to carry it out. Yes, believer of Christ, God always keep records of every good work in every labor you do in his name. Again, while reminded, in Hebrews 6, verse 10, 
For God is not unrighteous to forgive your work and labor of love, which you have shown towards his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do ministry. Yes, people of God, the God of the universe, according to the scripture that I've just read, he will never forget our contributions to the progress of his kingdom. Child of God, our God will ensure you, ensure that you reward, that you will receive proper recognition and reward for your righteous deeds. One thing about God, he keeps good record. Yes, beloved, it is a blessing to be used by God, to be accounted as a vessel set apart for the master's use. Here we see in the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 9, and it says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. In other words, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we shall reap in one season every good or righteous work. Yes, oh God is the greater, the greatest giver of reward. That's why we have to do things as unto the Lord. And don't worry about recognition of man. Because we get recognition of man here on earth. And it pats you on your back, you have a reader receive your reward. But if you do it in secret, as unto the Lord, God will reward you openly in this life and the life to come. Here we see in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 8, it says, Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord whether he be bound or free. Yes, beloved, our God is a perfect and just God who not only sees our work, but have not forgotten what we have done in our service to him and our continuous help to others. That is good to know that regardless of what people may not say or may not give you a credibility for God still keeps record. He still sits high, but he looks low. He still has no respect of person. What God do for one, he can do for another. He can bring, he can bring one up and he can also bring one down according to his will for what he wants to accomplish in 2024. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we serve an awesome God. We serve a God that is able, ready, and willing to reward us and to meet our each and every need. Remember, our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great I am, he is the one that is perfect and just. He is the one that sees our works. He is the one that will reward us as we endure all the way to the end. And he has not forgotten what we have done in our service to him and our continuous help to others. You see, we serve a God who does not fuss forsaken or forget people. According to the word of God here in Hebrews 13, verse 5, the because of the verse, it says, I'll never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Beloved, our God is always there. He's always there for us, no matter the circumstance or the situation of life. It is part of his nature to call our needs into remembrance for adequate compensation. 
And I'm going to say it again for those that are might have gotten a little discouraged in 2024 because of something that you did and you were not given credit for. I stop by to let you know that the God that we serve, he has not forgotten your labor of love. No, our God is always there for us, no matter the circumstances or situation of life. Even in 2024, you see, it is, it is God part of His nature to call out these into remembrance for adequate compensation. It doesn't just relate to this; it relates to good health. It relates it relate to favor, to the favor of God and favor of man. It's our one. It is not. God's character to forget anything like we as human beings do. But God is the all-knowing one. God is the one that sees all and knows all. For example, when we look in the, in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, verse 31, which says, and he said, Cornelius, thy prayers is heard, and thy arms, your act of charity, have been remembered before God. So that he is about to help you, to reward you. Yes, for God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he did not. He did not just remember the prayers of Cornelius, but he also, and also, all of his acts of charity and his Christian life changed forever. It was through through him, Cornelius, that the gospel was preached to the Gentiles. Yes, beloved, wherever you find yourself, during something, find yourself during something in 2024 is useful for God. And be assured that you are to receive divine elevation as a gift from him in return. So don't be weary in well-doing. Because in due season, if you faint not, you shall receive the promise. For God never forgets our labor of love. Hallelujah. Even now, in 2024, even when we go through persecution, even when we fall short of what he has called us to do, God will always remember. Yes, he forgives our sins, but he remembers our labor, our labor of love that we do for him as well as for others. So, beloved, God knows about your tears in intercession. God knows about your passion in prayer for lost souls. God is aware of all the sacrifices that you and I, as believers in Christ, that we have made for his name's sake. You see, the time, the money, the family, the friends and relationships that we gave up for him, God remembered, and he will reward us according to the way that we stand faith towards the things of God and his agenda in 2024. My brothers and sisters in Christ, God adequately compensates us as he sees fit. So today, believer of Christ, serve God with the best of your ability because he will not forget your effort when you do it, when you which you have diligently 
serve him by serving others. Do not let the delay discourage you. Be patient to work the word of God and let the word work which God guarantees to give you a reward. We are reminded here when the Apostle Paul was speaking encouraging words to the Galatians in chapter 3, verse 23. It said, whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work it from the soul that is putting in your very best effort as something being done for the Lord and not for men. But in sincerity, singleness of heart, fearing God, it is better to be repeated because sometimes we do get a little bit weary and discouraged. But this is a good word, a good scripture to stand on. Search the scriptures. And out of, out of them, you have the issues of life. You have encouragement. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of David, how David had to encourage himself in the Lord. So we, like David, as believers in Christ, there be times where we have to encourage ourselves in the Lord. Again, the Apostle Paul told of the late he told the Colossians in 3, verse 23, whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work it from the soul that is to put in your very best effort as something being done for the Lord and not for man. But it's sincerity, singleness of heart, fearing God, because our God remembers remembers our labor of love for Him and for those that we that we have sacrificed for. Yes, beloved, our God will reward our effort in all areas. Hallelujah. God, the God that sits high, but look low. The God that knows us, that knows us, the very hairs on our head. He will reward our works. He sees, he sees it, and he will credit it to our account. Yes, each and every believer of Christ, as a born again believer, as one of God's child, he have a credit to each and every one, to their account, accordingly to what they have done for him as well as others. So God in, God is thankful for the work that we, that we have done in the name of Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Yes, beloved, be assured of this even now in 2024, that God does not overlook anything that you do for him. You see, man, man may forget. Man may over, overlook the good that you have done. But we have to remember that we serve a God that knows everything, a God that knows every situation and circumstances that we are going through. You see, your labor of love may look insignificant to others, but God sees it, and he is not unrighteous to forget it. He has not forgotten your labor of love for him and others. Yes, beloved, God remembers everything you do from your heart. Whether it is big or small, he remembers because he's a God of the heart. 
He tries the heart. He knows whether we're doing it for show. He knows whether we're doing it for him, humbling ourselves within his eyesight and looking on to the hills from which coming our help, our help coming from God. I'm reminded of an example in the book of Matthew 10, 42. This is Jesus speaking. And Jesus said, and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. When man, hallelujah, try to put you in a try to put you in a place to where you are being belittled, to where they believe that they have their thumb on you and don't give what is rightfully due you. God has a way of letting us know, even according to the scripture, when Jesus said in Matthew ten forty two, and whosoever shall give the drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. So, beloved, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he sees everything. He sees every time and everything. We speak. When we speak a word of encouragement to somebody, or we pray for someone. And when, and when we help and encourage those who serve God, this is why we have to always have the mindset to do everything as unto the Lord. Sure, there'll be times when we'll be disappointed. Sure, there'll be times when we'll feel that we are being used. But when we do it as unto the Lord, and we do it in faith. God will always remember. He don't forget the labor of love that we have done in his name. That name is above every other name. And the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the praise and the glory of God. Yes, beloved, this is why you must always take time to be kind and to do good and to do all things through divine love, divine faith, and divine peace. Do it as unto the Lord for others. Hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the Bible says in Hebrew 11 and 1, that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. And them that come to God must believe that he is who he say he is, and he is a, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So do all things through divine love divine faith, and divine peace. The Bible let us know in Philippians verse 6 and 7, be anxious in nothing, be anxious for nothing, and in everything with prayer and supplication, making your request known unto God, and the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes, our God, he remembers your labor of love for him and for others. He has believed in Christ, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Always take note of everything you do, and he will reward you accordingly. So, beloved, remember God will never forget 
or he will never overlook your love for him. We are reminded here in the book of John 13, verse 34. It says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye should love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Also here in the book of John, 14, verse 15, it says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, this is, this is Jesus speaking. If you love me, keep my commandments. People of God, every believer of Christ should have a ministry within the body of Christ that that they should that that they should search. They should search for ways that they can glorify God through their faithful service to him and others. Again, we are reminded in the book of Hebrew, chapter 6, verse 10, it reminds us that God is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love, which you have showed towards his name. Also, we are reminded in Galatians chapter 3, verse 17, and it says, and whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Yes, beloved, we, we do what we do for the glory of God in 2024. Yes, some, somebody needs an encouraging word. Somebody needs to hear that Jesus still saved in 2024. Someone needs to, hallelujah, to be encouraged and to exhort in the things of God as being servant of the Most High God to continue to do good works and not to and not, to, and not to grow weary in well-doing. Do it as unto the Lord. And God, in turn, will reward you. God, in turn, will bless you like never before. Continue doing good. Continue in the things of God. Even now, when we look around in 2024, there's many that is running and, and running to things that is contrary to what the word is saying. But we as believers of Christ that are true, that is true to the works of the Lord and to his word, let us continue to do his work. We must work while it is a day. Because night cometh where no man can work. Here in the book of Matthew 23, verse 11, it says, But he that is greater among you shall be your servant. Yes, people of God, in 2024, God will never, will never forget or overlook the sacrifices that we have made. The God of the universe is unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love even now in 2024. Yes, we serve a good God. We serve a God that is able, ready, and willing to meet our each and every need. Remember, as labor of love, it refers to productive work performed voluntarily without material reward or compensation. As believers 
of Christ. God always keeps good records of every work, of every every labor you do in his name towards him and towards others. God bless you. God keep you. Remember, he will not forget the labor of love that you do in that name as above every other name. And that is the name of Jesus. But nothing turned out right Then the master, he took my hand Now he's leading me to the promised land Oh yes, Jesus loves me Oh yes, my Jesus, he loves me Praise the Lord. It's indeed, it is, it is indeed a privilege to lift up that name that is above every other name. The name, talking about the name of Jesus, where every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the praise and the glory of God. We just thank God for everyone that have tuned in today. For those that, that it will tune in at a later date, we disagree with you, uh, come, come to you in agreement on whatever you believe in God for. The Bible says many really two of us come in agreement. As touching that thing here on earth will be done of our heavenly Father, which is in heaven. And indeed, it is a privilege and an honor to be able to touch and agree. We believe that God has greater in store for us in 2024. So we must be willing to do more for him. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, 
It is indeed a blessing to be used by God. I am reminded here in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, and it tells us, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. In other words, we should reap in an in due season every good or righteous work because our God is a greater giver of reward. He is. He is. He is all sufficient. Me, he is all sufficient to each and every one of our needs. Yes, we serve a God who does not forsake or forget or forget about his people. Yes, the Bible reminds us again. Here in Hebrew 13 and 5, the big clause of the verse, where he says, I never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Our God is always there for us, no matter the circumstance or the situation of life. It is a part of his nature to call our deeds that we have done in his name into remembrance for adequate compensation. It is, it is not in the character of God to forget anything like we as human beings do. For God is all-knowing, and God knows every, everything. He knows every thought. He knows every deed that we do. Oh, what an awesome God that we serve. So when you get a little bit discouraged and people don't give you recognition for what you have done, don't worry about it. Keep working for the Lord. Keep going out and witnessing them to people on the highways and the byways and compel them to come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm reminded, hallelujah, from from long ago, when the saints of God, when I was coming up, they would say, I am, I am sending timbers up to heaven through their prayers and through their good deeds that they have done in, in his name, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the praise and the glory of God. Yes, beloved, wherever you find yourself in 2024, find yourself doing something that is useful for God and his kingdom. In order, in order for him to elevate you as a gift from him in return, be in obedience to what he, to what he asks you to do. Then do it quick and in a hurry. Yes, well, we must work while there's a day for night cometh when no man, no woman, bar or girl. We'll be able to work. Remember, God knows. He knows your tears that you have done in intercession. He knows your passion in prayer. Bible for all souls. Bible says in Luke 18, verse 1, excuse <clears throat> the big clause of the verse, men ought to always pray and don't faint. Don't lose heart. Keep doing good. Keep looking to, to Jesus. As I would say, example, he took upon himself the sin of all men, of mankind, and became that sacrifice for us, for every one of us that was born in sin. Thank God for salvation. Because of Jesus, 
He made it possible because he's the way, the truth, and the life. He made it possible for us, to, for us to be able to be reconciled with God, the Father who created us, the one that before time begun had us uh, on his mind. He is the one that have sent his best for us from heaven above, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, humbled himself, fashioned himself as a man, took upon himself the sins of the world, and made it possible for salvation for to come forth. We are reminded in 1 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So don't be discouraged because of delay. Be patient. Work the word of God, which guarantees you your reward. Be in obedience each and every day. Bible says, if we fall short, I'm reminded in 1 John 1, 9, it says that we confess our sins. He's faithful and just forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's the type of God that we serve, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He will always remember your labor of love that you have done for him and for others. And he will reward you for your work. And he will credit that to your account, your heavenly account. God is so thankful for the work you have done. Yes, so be assured of this. Even now in 2024, our God does not overlook anything that you do for him. Your labor of love may look insufficient. To others, but to God, He sees it, and He is not unrighteous to forget it. So be encouraged today in 2024, because our God, He will do according to what He says. He's not a man that He should lie, or the Son of Man that He should repent. God is all known. He's all powerful. What he say, he will, he will do it. Hallelujah. He has no competition. He has no, no one that, that on his level. He is the author. He is the author of creation, the creator of heaven and earth. Our God is awesome. We serve a good God. From this day forward, in, from this day forward onwards, so be encouraged. Stand on the word of God. Do something for for Him. Do something productive. Always remember this: God sees every time you speak a word of encouragement, or you pray a prayer for someone. Or when you help and encourage those who serve God, <coughs> excuse me, who serve God, this is why we must always take time to be kind towards others and to do all things through divine love, divine faith, and divine peace. Do everything as unto the Lord. Even now, in 2024, God is good, and he's worthy to be praised. To be praised for his goodness. To be praised for his grace and his love for all mankind. Yes, God, do not, hallelujah, God is on, he is so awesome. He is our all in all. Be tangled up, wrapped up, tied up 
in him. And in the end, God will take you to places that you've never been, that you even dream of. He's capable to do that. He will keep us in perfect peace as we keep our minds upon him. So look on to the hills from which cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we are we are grateful and we are thankful that in 2024, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, has taken us higher, has taken us up higher to what he wants to do within our lives. He's taken us to a place that we haven't been before. As the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great I am, he is our God. He is our rewarder of everything we do. We are grateful and thankful here, here tonight for everything that God has done, will do for us going forward. Keep your hand to the gospel plow and don't look back because God will reward you. If you stay in the race, stay in the fight all the way to the end. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer in 2024. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Thank him for his goodness, his grace, and his love. Well, thank God we just, as we bring in this, this lesson to a close, we, we thank God for you, and we just look forward to continue to do things as unto the Lord in 2024 and endure all the way to the end. God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. We just hope and pray there was something that we say in here that will bring exhortation and encouragement to your to your soul. Continue to pray for us, and we'll do the same for you. And we look forward to continuing with God's grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Until Friday, God's willing, we'll be, we'll be back at the same time at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Have a good night. God bless.